This is the Sun 504 Distributor Tester Instructional Video. This video covers Ford V8 Distributors, 1932 through 1948. During this time, Ford offered seven models of distributors. These models are basically mechanically the same. The biggest difference is the centrifugal advance. We are going to focus on the dome type distributor, model 11A specs from the Sun Distributor Tester Operator's Manual from 1950. First, we're going to mount the distributor onto the base of the Sun Early Ford Drive Shaft Adapter Bracket. When applying the adapter bracket to the Sun 504, the drive shaft should be placed into the chuck. The shaft should slide all the way down when it is aligned with the keyway of the chuck. Also remember to align the guide pins onto the hold down clamp. Now tighten down the chuck. Then tighten down the hold down clamps to the base of the adapter. Before we mount the distributor, rotate the chuck and make sure everything is spinning freely. The shaft keyway and the distributor keyway are offset and you need to make sure that they line up correctly when you mount them together or they will not fit. To securely lock down the distributor to the adapter, tighten the quick release to the base of the distributor. Step 2. Setting the dwell. Before you can set the dwell on the distributor, you have to calibrate the meter. To do this, you must connect the distributor lead and the ground lead together. Next, you will turn on the 504, making sure to turn the switch to the left hand drive. This is because early Ford distributors turn counterclockwise. Turn the dwell meter cylinder setting from off to the calibrate position. Now turn the dwell calibration knob until the needle is lined up to the set line. Now that the dwell meter is calibrated, disconnect the distributor lead and connect it to the positive lead on the coil. Take the ground lead and connect it to the ground post of the hold down clamp. Turn the cylinder setting to 8. Next, make sure the positive contact spring on the coil is making good contact on the positive button of the breaker plate. And before you install the coil, you should make sure that the carbon contact tip has good spring action. The starting point gap should be 14 thousandths to 16 thousandths. After the gap is set, block off the left-hand set of points with a piece of fiber or plastic. The distributor degree indicator should be set to zero degrees. And the last step before starting the test is to remove the vacuum advance brake. The distributor RPM meter has two scales. The top scale reads 1000 RPMs and the bottom reads 4,000 RPMs. Switch the scale to the 1,000 RPM. Now you can start the distributor rotation by turning the speed wheel left or counterclockwise until the meter reaches 200 RPM on the top RPM scale. The dwell should read 22 degrees. If not, adjust the right hand set of points to 22 degrees. Now stop the rotation and remove the block from the left hand side points. Start the rotation back up to 200 RPM and the dwell should read 36 degrees. If the dwell does not read 36 degrees, adjust the left hand set of points until the dwell reads 36 degrees. Now move the degree ring to zero degrees on the bottom red arrow. The red arrows are the ignition firing for each cylinder. If these arrows are flashing at an uneven interval, it indicates a worn distributor cam or bent distributor drive shaft. It could also be that the breaker plate is shorting out. Also make sure that the top housing and bottom cup bushings are not scarred or burned. It is important that these arrows are very consistent. Cam lobe accuracy is necessary to ensure proper ignition timing to all cylinders of the engine. One or more worn cam lobes, bent drive shaft, breaker plate shorts, or damaged bushings will cause the engine to pre-detonate, creating poor power and overheating. 
Step three, setting the advance. Next, set the RPM to 180. Once the RPM is set, adjust the timing device on the distributor to two degrees advance. Continue turning the speed wheel to the left or counterclockwise to increase the speed to 600 RPMs. The degree indicator should be reading 10 and a half to 11 and a half degrees. Step four, setting the vacuum brake. Now stopping the rotation, reassemble the vacuum advance brake. You now can start to increase the speed. Topping the speed out at 1000 RPM, the dwell should still be at 36 plus or minus one degree. Now, hook up the vacuum pump to the distributor. Turn the vacuum pump on and set it to 1.6 vacuum inches. Adjust the vacuum advance to read seven degrees on the degree indicator. Your distributor should now be set. And remember, stop the rotation completely before powering down the 504 distributor tester.